It's a pretty common task to check if a value is found within a container such as a list or a dictionary. And in Python, you can use the membership operator to find that out. You can use a membership operator to check if a substring is found within a string, such as is the word cat in the word caterpillar, which will return true. Membership in a dictionary checks if a specific key exists in the dictionary. And you may want to determine if two variables are the same object or not. And you would do that with the identity operator called is, which checks if two operands are bound to a single object. And there's also an is not operator, which checks if something is not the same object and returns true if they're not. The identity operators do not compare the values of the two objects, but rather the object's memory address location. And that's how it determines if they're the same object or not the same object. Let's try out some examples. All right, so in PyCharm, let's create a list. We'll call it grades. Grades, and that list contains 85, 67, 100, and 76. And we could check if you've ever gotten 100% on any of your assignment grades by simply checking, printing out, or just using an if statement, print. This will print true or false. 100 in grades. Okay, let's see if that's true. Yep, it's true. 100 is found inside the grades list. Okay, let's check if 99 is in there. This should give you false because it's not in the list. And you can even have stuff that doesn't even, that's not even an integer in this list. You can have strings. There's Bob again. And currency values like 23.99. It's a weird list of different types, but we could still still use it. So 99 is not in there, but is Bob in the grades, which yeah, he is, and is 23.99 in there? That's also true, but is 23.98 in there? That's false. So that is the in membership operator, and there's also not in. Is 23.98 not in grades? Yep, it definitely doesn't look like it's in there, so this prints out true. Is zero not in grades? Also true. Let's do something else. Let's create an, a string called name is Bob. And we can even check if Bob is found in Bobby Brown. Is there a Bob in Bobby Brown? It's true. What about row? Is row in Bobby Brown? That's also true. Well, where's that located? Right there, inside the middle of the word brown. There's R-O for row. Let's try a dictionary. Let's create a dictionary called players. And we've got three is Jordan. And 33 is Pippin. And we could also Instead of using a print statement, let's try out an if statement. If 23 in players, if there's a, a person with the key 23 in there, it will print yes, else, print no. Instead of true and false, I mean, we could just print yes and no. So Jordan's in there. Pippin is in there. What about Dennis Rodman? He was number 91. Is he in that team? Nope, not in there. So membership identity in dictionaries also pretty straightforward and simple. Let's try out some examples of identity relationships. Let's create two integers. A is 10, B is 10. Let's do an if statement. If A is B, we'll print the same identity. Else, different identity. Okay, let's see what it does. Oops, I forgot the colon. All right, so A and B have the same identity in this case. There's also an ID function which returns the identity of an object. Let's try the ID of A and B. And this gives you a different identity. So when you're comparing the actual identities, we'll see that A and B, although they're the same value, they're different identities because they live in different memory locations.